Gary Shaw is this nomadic grifter type who's trying to find himself. He's extremely intelligent, comes from a well-to-do family of overachievers. He's kind of a, a lackluster professional. He's trying to excavate his life and figure it all out. And he becomes a pawn in a plot to kill someone. Go, go, go! Are you sure? Oh, come on. Who is it? Oh, one man in my life has my character is a single mom, and she goes out with her girlfriends and gets a phone call where her uh, worst nightmare comes true. A woman on the other line threatening to kidnap her son, and she's forced to make some split-second decisions in order to protect her son. Everybody get down! They sent this one over, and the script was really good. It was smartly written, and I liked DJ very much. I thought, well, you know, if I'm going to do one. I've never played an FBI agent. Why not? Um, I didn't realize I was going to be running as much as I <laughs> was. I was in the best shape of my life after we finished filming this this movie, but we didn't we didn't prep at all, unfortunately. But we had a ball because we, we got to do jumps and dives and shoot guns. And it was like shoots and ladders for adults. I just wrapped my television series, The Shield, the first weekend after wrapping. I got a phone call at 7.30 in the morning, and I looked at my caller ID, and it said DJ Caruso. And I called back, and I go, DJ, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm sorry, my, my three-year-old was playing with my phone. He woke up, Angelina Jolie, and then you. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. What are you doing? He's like, I'm shooting Eagle Eye. Uh, um, uh, hey, what are you doing? I said, well, I just wrapped the shield. He goes, oh, I got a gig for you. I love doing action stuff, and I love the opportunity to explore a new character or person, but also the idea of it being such a smart film, talking about such a relevant issue. and Basically, Steven Spielberg had this little idea about uh, technology taking over and being used as a weapon. We always look at it as our friend and what it does for us and the positive aspects of it, but now... Our government can listen in on our phone calls. You know, we do have video cameras everywhere that we look. We're profiled every time we go online as to what we like and prefer. Steven wanted people to walk out of the theater and feel the same way they did about Jaws. You know, nobody saw Jaws and went boogie boarding the next day. He wants people to walk out of Eagle Eye and look at their phone and have a, a very tangible fear. I think you watch a movie like this and the paranoia that's there is very real. There was a CIA a guy who was working with us on the show and he told me one in five phone calls is monitored and recorded. And I said, really? And he proceeded to show me a phone call I had made two years before jumping onto the production. Yeah, all that stuff freaks me out. I, I, I don't dig any of it. I, I, I'm sort of old school. I, I try to you know, stay in the basement.